great that uh, this is very understandable because I was here yesterday and the uh, president, he was speaking from 9 to 4 all the way long and uh, today the same. We had this opportunity to meet and to talk with him. Uh, so first, I will introduce some of our guests. Uh, Li Jianfeng. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, because uh, especially he come from Wenpur for this event. <laughs> He's a former Chinese judge and is sentenced to 16 years in prison for subversion of the state power. Chen,呃,if you are here already? Uh, Deputy Mayor of Cremona of Alberta. Executive Director of the China Democracy Party of Canada Committee. 嗯，是中国民主党全委会、加拿大委员会的执行主席。Tashi Manov and her husband. Uh, from yeah, she she is here. I see you. <laughs> yeah, Tashi, Tashi. Yeah, Japanese Japanese writer and a researcher, and also her husband is a scholar. Uh, and uh, with their friend John with us today. And uh, with uh, Winston, when we sit here, the English name is how do you Yeah, Winston. Uh, he's um, yeah on behalf of the Assembly of Citizen, uh, called Gongminhui, all young guys, young people. Yeah, Michael Stanton. Michael Stanton is the president of. Canadian Taiwanese Human Rights Association, Canada Taiwan Renchan Hui Zhu Xi. Oh, Abduwili, President of East Turkestan Association of Canada, Canada Dong Tori Sihan Xie Hui Zhu Xi. Winnie. When he and Wu Wenwen, the president of Toronto Association for Democracy in China, Do Nen Do Yun Yun Hui Zhu Xi. Columbus, Columbus Luo Luo Yi Shi, on behalf of the World United Formations for Independence Canada, called Taiwan独立 建国联盟. Edward, Edward Chang, Edward Chang. Yes, thank you. Yeah, president of uh, FAPA, FAPA Canada, Canada Taiwan Ren Gong Gong Shi Wu Hui Zhu Xi. Thank you. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph Attar. The last one is not the list. He is a political prisoner of religion's freedom and spent 15 years in an Egyptian prison. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, My name is Kyung Sung Kunzok. I'm the president of the uh, Canadian Tibetan Association uh, of Ontario. And uh, today we have uh, gathered here uh, with our Chinese uh, friends. Uh, to you know, have an introduction uh, of the president of the uh, 
Tibetan uh, Central, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Central Tibetan Administration, uh, Mr. Pendel uh, Simila, and uh, and the uh, uh, the North American uh, representative of uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And uh, yeah, he works uh, Mandela. He works from uh, the office uh, in Washington D.C. and uh, covers uh, both the uh, uh, U.S., uh, 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 South America, and the uh, uh, the Canada also. Uh, so, uh, without uh, taking much time, uh, I welcome you, everyone, uh, to the center here. And uh, with uh, the uh, start of uh, this meeting, uh, we look forward to having uh, more interactions uh, with uh, all of you in the future. Thank you. Understand English? Yes. You understand English, no? Yes. No problem. So maybe, huh? Chinese is fine. You understand Chinese? Okay. Now, okay. Any Sorry, just saying. Next time, maybe we should meet in a place where we have better translation, section-wise. So anyway, 
Maybe I'll switch to uh, English then. Okay. One Japanese also, but Japanese you speak English, no? Yeah, you are author. You are author, so you must be writing in English and Japanese and other languages. So I'm very happy to have uh, met all of you. Uh, I know her for some time now because she was in Dharamsala before. Uh, but many of you we are meeting for the first time, so it's my pleasure, and uh, uh, I really look forward to uh, listen from you also as to what is going on. Of course, we um, we we all are different people, uh, Uyghur Uyghur people, East Turkestan people. I don't like to call them Xinjiang people because Xinjiang is Chinese name for the Uyghur people, so it's technically also very important because China try, try to change everything, signification of everything, including name of place, uh, name of country, name of uh, uh, rivers, everything they change. So we don't want signification of uh, the national minorities, uh, whether it's uh, Mongolia or whether it's uh, uh, Uyghur people or whether it's the Tibetan people. So all of our issues are different. We are different people, but we face the same opponent, the Communist Party of China, whether it's with Taiwan also, the same problem. But issues are different. We have uh, different historical uh, narratives, uh, different situation for Hong Kong people. Also, uh, the issue is more freedom and democracy. For Uyghur people and the Tibetan people, it's more to do with the identity of the Tibetan uh, identity of the Tibetan people, or the Uyghur people, or the Mongol people. So we also have a friend from uh, Egypt uh, who also suffered the same uh, fate like us. So we are all in the same boat, even though we come from different different places. So uh, as a uh, uh, Uyghurs. Our Uyghur friends, we have many friends. I used to work with Rabia Kadir, now also with Tolkun Isa and others. So Uyghurs used to tell Tibetans that they have body but no head. Tibetans have head but no body. So for that, I think they mean His Holiness the Dalai Lama. So we are very fortunate to have a leader like His Holiness the Dalai Lama who always professes peace and non-violence and uh, harmony in the world, you know. So, and uh, I tell the Hong Kong friends also, I met some friends already in Ottawa, in DC, and also in uh, Washington, uh, in New York. Uh, we, when we came into exile in 1959, we never thought that we would be living in exile for 63 years. Now it's already 63 years. <clears throat> Hong Kong issue came up much later in the last three, four years. So I tell the Hong Kong friends also uh, that you are young, you are energetic, you are educated, you know the law, uh, but you need to organize yourself. Uh, we have a Tibetan saying, we have a Tibetan saying that hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. <clears throat> so we have to prepare for the worst. Even for our Hong Kong friends, you have to prepare for the worst. We hope that you get freedom uh, in Hong Kong in, as early as possible. But till such a time, you need to organize yourself. For us, because of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, we introduced democracy as early as 1960. So we have a democratic system of functioning. And uh, this is, I am representing the 16th cabinet of democracy in exile. And we also have parliament. We also have our judiciary commission. So all three pillars of democracy, even in exile, we, we have our election commission. We have auditor general's office. We also have uh, public service commission. So all our recruitment is also done through the public service commission, just like any independent country. But of course, there's nobody, <coughs> not a single country recognize uh, uh, the Tibetan government in exile, but at least we are able to function uh, in a united way. Uh, sometimes there are divisions in democracy also, but then when you have a system in place, when you have a structure in place, then it helps you to carry on your movement for 
uh, many years to come and His Holiness also with his long-sighted vision established democracy and he knows we treat him like God because he is uh, our, for us he is emanation of the Lord of Compassion but he is on human form so he will also die one day so he wants us Tibetans to be prepared when he is no longer there for us to continue with our movement. So similarly, our Ugu friends also for a long time, they had no structure. Uh, but now they have decided to form a Uyghur government in exile. So they are also having elections. So they also follow what we did many years ago. And I would urge our Hong Kong friends also to <coughs> work with your friends in different parts of the world, come together, develop a structure. I know that you have a democratic council, uh, Hong Kong Democratic Council, but if we have to work together, it's very difficult with the Chinese dissident, democratic movement, dissidents, also, because uh, uh, father of democracy, uh, New York, DC, uh, he wants to be president and then uh, he doesn't recognize Yang Jeli. He thinks Yang Jeli is Chinese spy. So there are so many divisions within the Chinese democracy movement. For us to get in touch with Chinese democracy movement is not possible. So when I went to Australia on uh, June 4th uh, to commemorate the June 4th, one group meet in the morning they go. Then the next group come in the afternoon, same place, same people, same struggle, but different dream, different group. When they asked, they told me that they, they will host a dinner for me. So I told them, if two group come together, I will come. If separate, separate problem. You know, so uh, they did come together, but overall with His Holiness, His Holiness also always say, all Chinese democracy movement come together because we have to face the government of China. We cannot remain divided. And if we are divided and you are fighting for democracy in uh, China, but at least you should have democracy here also in exile. So we have to learn how to organize ourselves. Only then will there be strength to face the Communist Party. And if we want to, if let us say our Uyghur friends our pro-democracy friends, our Hong Kong friends and uh, Mongol friends, if we want to come together to face, uh, to, uh, to come together with a common strategy, to face the common challenges, for us it's very difficult to, who should we invite from the pro-democracy movement? Now it's easy with Uyghur, we can contact Dorkun Isa and he will send people or he will come. For us it's also easy, you contact me, I send to which meeting who should go. So they become representative. But with Hong Kong, I still don't know how organized they are. You know, with the pro-democracy Chinese also, I don't know how organized you are. If I invite her, some other group get angry. <laughs> if I invite somebody else, then they, the other group get angry. Yeah, not, no, the problem is not only about Canada. I'm talking about internationally. Internationally, if there are structured organization and a system, and with our Taiwan, friend, Taiwan friends also, we have uh, good relations with Taiwan and transparent relation. Uh, your cultural affairs uh, uh, person in charge in Ottawa, we met. Your Delhi office people, we met uh, in Delhi. So I told uh, uh, our friend in Delhi also, I will never say when I want to come to Taiwan. You decide when I should come. So if you think it's a good time for me to come to Taiwan, I will come. But I want, don't want to force myself on our Taiwanese friend that I want to come. In fact, the Taiwan Foreign Minister, Joseph Wu, he congratulated uh, me on uh, my election victory. So now, if we all have to come together to face the common enemy, the Communist Party of China, then we have to have some structure. And that is very important. Otherwise, it's not possible to work together. Then uh, please make sure that you do that. All of us, for us, Chinese people are not our enemy. Tibet and China, Tibet and Mongolia, Tibet and Uyghur, 
we are all neighbors since time immemorial not like something china says tibet is part of china since time immemorial but we are friends neighbors since time immemorial there's no question about it and as neighbors we have to learn to love, live in peace and in harmony with each other we cannot be fighting all the time and be neighbors it doesn't help anybody's peace of mind always tension tension killing killing we saw what is happening in ukraine what war brings so much lives people killed so much destruction of property if all these are used for education for development of people how much beneficial will it be for everybody but unfortunately you still have countries like russia you still have leaders in china who don't believe in democracy who don't believe in providing uh, uh, taking care of their own people so it's very unfortunate and uh, but we as buddhists we believe that nothing is permanent in western psychology or westerners also talk about change is the only constant so we believe in impermanence nobody knows what is going to happen post ukraine what will happen to russia how will in the next few months what role will the chinese government play in this evolving situation how will the international community view china what are the opportunities for all of us under those circumstances we should be able to take it but if we are not united then we cannot take uh, uh, take over take uh, uh, sorry, advantage of the opportunity so i close with these words and i'm very thankful for you coming here at the tibetan uh, canadian cultural center and i look forward to more cooperation into the future and we look forward to more peace in the world not war okay even chinese leaders mao zedong true now xi jinping xi jinping also a human being today he is president but tomorrow he has to die before his death he will think what he did in his life whether he helped people or he destroyed people so uh, all of us are human being whether you are a prince or a king or a pauper or a beggar all same body same mind you know everybody is seeking happiness so we have to learn to work together okay thank you so much for your presence here. Sanchi 制度要有民主政府所以他们现在有一个完整的一个政府有政府应该有的都有虽然他们在西藏以外但是他们有一个完整的政府所以他们也是一个民主体制虽然没有任何一个国家正式承认他们做西藏政府但是他们已经有一个很有制度的组织所以他建议向维吾尔族现在有很强的领导他经常在华盛顿跟头坤见面但是他知道在中国民运里面有相当的严重的分裂的问题所以很难跟他们沟通
一样都是中国民众人去，但是一个早上一个下午，他们不要不要一起开会。但是他强调，如果要请我吃饭的话，一定要大家在一起，我才来跟你们吃饭。所以他他觉得你没有一个一个统一的呃政府，可以代表大家。你们呃，你们就错过很多机会。同样的，他不太了解香港的情况，但是一样，他建立香港也需要开始组织起来，做一个香港的一个流亡政府，有有代表性，大家公认，这就是香港的领导，这就是代表香港的声音。呃，有关呢，台湾，他说我们跟台湾。政府有相当那个透明，而且很好的关系。他曾经也访问过他们在在德里啊的办公室，跟他们的交谈呢，他们的关系是相当好。呃，他们呃，昨天在渥太华啊，前天在渥太华，呃呃，陈代表啊，台北经济委员会陈代表也参加他们的会议，而且当那个。市长呢，当选的时候，呃，台湾外交部长呃，那个吴宗宪，啊、呃，吴教宪也是，呃，给他祝贺，所以在他跟他们说，我不需要自己也一直要求到台湾的时候，你觉得我什么时候到台湾方便，我就可以到台湾，但是你要请我，我不会一直要求你们来来请我到台湾，呃，最后他说。呃，作为佛教徒，我们是我们的一个重要的信仰就是无常。他说，像英文说 ，the only permanent condition is change， 只有改变才是才是常存在的。啊，所以世界在这种乱象里面在打仗呢，在在俄罗斯、中国这些啊乱象，我们不知道以后会怎么样的发展。但是如果我们没有很强烈的大家公认的一个组织，我们很难啊去抓住这些机会。他说啊，我们每一个人，包括那个习近平以外，到他临终的时候，他自己也要想一想，我到底为了人做过什么？我我对人做过什么事情？啊，每一个人都是在寻求那个喜乐、快乐、平安。啊，所以我们在这个是我们所有的人类的共同点，我们要从这一点来发出继续做我们的工作。Thank you, Michael. Uh, next, uh, I would like to request uh, uh, to do a presentation of the uh, different uh, associations uh, that have uh, come here.